What caused the virus that affected humans on the planet of the apes? The simian flu virus has gone down in history as one of the most devastating infectious agents ever unleashed on mankind. But in its much humbler origins, it was nothing more than the fruit of a well-intentioned scientific experiment gone horribly wrong. In this video, we'll be talking about the simian flu and how it will affect humans in the movie Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. To understand the virus and its effect on the world, we must transport ourselves back to the first Planet of the Apes movie. In it we saw how humanity had become a kind of animal species, while the rest of the apes in the animal kingdom had developed an intelligence that far surpasses the humans of that time. At first, astronaut George Taylor thought he was on another planet, where humans had not evolved their intelligence, but apes were dominant. Dr. Zira was conducting various experiments there, and realized that humans had vocal cords, but for some reason, could not speak. But if he did not come from another planet, well, let us assume, then surely he sprang from our own. As an animal psychologist, I have found no physiological defect. Their speech organs are adequate. Why humans are mute, but in the brain. Objection! Sustain! At the end of the first film, it is shown that in reality, George Taylor is not on a different planet than the human one, but rather he is in the future of the Earth. the time. I'm home. We finally really did it. Oh, damn you! You blew it up! You maniacs! God damn you all to hell! This means that something happened that led to the decline of mankind and the emergence of these intelligent apes. The answer to why cognitive and speech abilities were affected in humans can be found in the simian flu. This virus, originally created with good intentions by Dr. Will Rodman at Gensys Laboratories, had unforeseen catastrophic effects. While it increased the intelligence of apes, it proved to be lethal to humans. But what exactly is this virus? At Gensys Labs, scientist Will Rodman created ALZ-112 in the hope of curing degenerative brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. During tests on apes, a chimpanzee named Bright Eyes showed a remarkable increase in intelligence. However, due to a misunderstanding and believing her newborn was in danger, she caused a disturbance and was killed. Her son Caesar inherited her advanced intelligence when Will adopted him after the incident. Will tried the treatment on his own father, who suffered from Alzheimer's, and although he initially showed improvement, the effect was temporary. The disease returned when his father's immune system neutralized the treatment. After his father's death, Will worked on an improved version, ALZ-113, which further increased the ape's intelligence. However, this new formula was unwisely tested by Gensys management, causing dangerous side effects. ALZ-113 proved to be contagious to humans, as seen when scientist Robert Franklin accidentally infected himself and subsequently transmitted the virus to his irritable neighbor, Douglas Hunsaker, by sneezing on him. While the virus gave apes superior intelligence, it proved lethal to humans, causing severe symptoms such as bleeding and ultimately death, just as it did to Franklin. The spread of the simian flu led to a cataclysmic power shift between the species, giving the apes human intelligence and causing a deadly pandemic among humans, setting the stage for the rise of the apes and the decline of humanity. The simian flu virus spread around the world via international air routes after an infected airport worker transmitted it to passengers. The resulting pandemic decimated the human population in a matter of months with approximately half of humanity dead within six to eight months. Society collapsed in chaos and unrest, 
the apes experienced an evolutionary explosion of intelligence at the same time. Ten years later, human civilization had collapsed, with only small groups of immune survivors scattered around the world. Later the virus mutated into a form that instead of killing humans, rendered them dumb and primitive. The fall of humanity to this virus, and the supremacy of another, more intelligent species, is the basis of the new film Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. In this film, humans are pursued and hunted as in the first film of this franchise. But the apes are still using human technology. In fact, it is believed that the villain ape in this movie will be looking for human technology to conquer other regions controlled by other ape groups. Civilization is at its worst point since the original films, but we must not forget that there are people underground in this world, and they could be the surprise element in this film. In the second Planet of the Apes movie, we discovered that deep in the Earth lived a civilization of people who were kept in hiding to avoid contact with the simian flu and with the primates that dominated the planet. They are the result of a nuclear war that occurred in this world in the late 90s. In the last Planet of the Apes trilogy, there is no mention of this nuclear war, so it is possible that it occurred after the virus began to eradicate humanity. Perhaps communication between states has been broken for a long time, and nuclear wars have occurred but isolated from the area where the apes are. But what exactly are these mutants, and what might they do in this new movie? These mutants are the result of centuries of exposure to nuclear radiation, following an atomic war that destroyed human civilization. They live underground in the radioactive ruins of New York City, and have developed psychic powers due to mutations. The mutants worship a nuclear weapon called the Alpha Omega Bomb, which they consider divine. When we saw them in the previous movies, it seemed that this civilization had contact with the outside world for a long time, but there is a possibility. In one of the movies it is mentioned that there was a mission where several astronauts were sent into space. Some believe that these astronauts will return to Earth and encounter this new planet of apes, repeating history again. And if this is the case, the mutants could be the hidden villains in the new trilogy. If the kingdom of the planet of the apes ends with the return of the astronauts to Earth, they could be the ones causing the nuclear war. Or even looking for those mutants living underground, waiting for the moment to reclaim the surface. Something we must take into account is that these humans coming from space would not be immune to the virus and could also lose their lives. But tell me what are your thoughts on all this about the origin of the simian flu and its influence. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.